Welcome to ES6 crash course and let's see what are we going to cover in this course. So first we will see the difference between var and let variable and then we will see the difference between let and cons and after finishing this we will see the ES6 arrow function and after that we will see ES6 template string and then we will see the prototype and then ES6 classes and last but not the least we will see the spread operators. So see you in the next video. Hello everyone welcome to the ES6 crash course. For writing the code we need to go to jsbin.com and here we need to uncheck HTML tab and output tab and we need to check JavaScript tab and console tab. And before we start writing ES6 code, we need to write one line of code that is slash asterisk js hint es next colon through asterisk and a slash. What this line of code means? The es next option tells js hint that your code uses ES6 feature specific syntax. For that reason we need to set this option so jsin doesn't raise any unnecessary warnings. I'll show you an example. Let's say I take let name equals to sarfaraz my name and if I don't write this line so it will give me a warning. So to avoid this warning we need to write this line. So let's start our lecture. So before explaining you about let variable, let me explain you about var variable. For that reason, we are going to declare a variable var name equals to sarfaraz, which is my name. And we need to console this name. And var variables are reassigned. To reassign this variable, we need to write name equals to summit. And we need to console it again. So let's run this code and here you can see that it prints my name Sarfaraz first and then it prints Samir. So the value of name has been the value of this variable has been reassigned. Okay. So let me delete this, clear this and let me delete this. So now let's talk about scope. For that I'm going to declare a function, function print name with no arguments and inside this function scope inside this curly braces we need to declare a variable var name equals to sarfaraz and we need to console this name and to execute this function we need to write print name and let's run this code and it will print my name so what would happen if i try to print this variable outside its scope so what do i mean by scope well this var variable is declared inside the inside this block and it is locked in here we cannot access it anywhere else suppose i try to do so let me try logging this name let me try this try logging this name outside of its scope let me cut and let me copy this here and let's comment it out this function by pressing ctrl slash and let's run this code so you can see it is not printing my name it is giving an error so you cannot access a variable outside of its scope. It is only scope to that function. If you declare outside the function, suppose if I declare it outside the function, let me copy this, let me paste it here and let's clear this and let's run this. So it will print my name. In this case, you can access anywhere in the file. 
it is best to avoid global variable because as your code becomes little complex it is it becomes harder to figure out which functions are reading or writing to this variable so try to keep variable inside a function and if you need to access that variable value outside of its scope simply give that function a return value and access it accordingly this is a basic concept of function scope let's delete all this and let me clear this out let's redeclare a variable called var name equals to self as and let me write a if statement if name equal to self as sorry if the statement is true then I want to trigger this block of code such that I want to create a new variable var full name equals to sarfaraz kasmani and we need to console this full name let us run this code and it prints out my full name as I said earlier var variables are function scope they are not limited to the closure of if statement so they are not limited to the closure of this if statement I can access this variable outside of his if statement let's console dot log outside the scope let me cut this and let me paste it outside this curly braces let's clear this and run this again and you can see it is printing my name as there is no function so this variable is accessible to the entire window it is basically a global variable what if i want to access only in the if statement as we know that var variables are not block scope they are a function scope so es6 came up with a let statement let us replace this var with let and let me cut this and let's paste it here let's clear this and let's run the code and everything works fine what is let let is a block scope what is a block when you see two curly braces one opening and one closing that is a block and here the let variable values are enclosed inside of the scope of this block they are only accessible inside of this two curly braces so as you can see that it prints my name okay everything works fine and let's so let's run this code outside the scope so let me cut this and let me paste it here let me clear this and let's run it again and as you can see it is giving me an error so we cannot use this variable outside of his scope and this is the and that is the and that is the common difference between var and let so always try to use let instead of var let me delete all this and let me clear this let's declare a variable var name equals to sarfaraz and again just type var name reassign it to samir and console dot log name and let's run this code so it will print Samir it should display an error we should not be allowed to reuse the variable that can cause a lot of bugs and confusion in the application so if I try to do this with let variable let's replace var with let and let's clear this stuff and let's run so it will give me an error Sometimes it might happen that you give the same variable names which can cause a bug. In this kind of situation, let will be very helpful. So I hope you got the difference between the var variable and let variable. So in the next video, we will look at the difference between let and const. So if you like this video, please like, share and comment and please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye-bye. Welcome back to another video. In this video we are going to talk about let and const. 
as we discussed earlier that let is a block scope it means its value can be accessed inside of the block and declaring a variable with var makes it function scope such that it values is confined to that function that it was declaring so const just like let is also a block scope for example inside of the block inside of this block let's declare a const age which is equal to 21 i can only access this inside of this block since it is a block scope if i try to access it outside its scope let's console this let me copy this age and let me console dot log age and if i run this it will give me an error so what is the difference between let and const the compiler allows you to update let variable however with const once you assign a value it's over you cannot update it for example if i try to change this age from 21 to 41 and let me remove this let's clear this and let run so it will not allow me to change the value and here also you can see that attempting to override it which is a constant so in constant if so in const we cannot update the value so when to choose let and when to use const when you are declaring a variable and you feel its value is not going to change then always go with const otherwise if you are declaring a variable whose value is going to update it then go with let let's see an example let's declare a variable let me clear this let me clear this as well so let's declare a variable const person which is, which is equal to an object such that the person has a name which is equal to john and gender sorry here it will be colon and gen gender will be male so let us console this let's run the code and it will print the object gender male and name john so everything works fine what if i want to update this person object equal to new object for that we need to write person is equal to name colon sarah and gender is which is equal colon female let me clear this and let me run this so it will give me an error here also you can see that attempting to override person which is a const if i change this const to let and let's run the code again so it will change it to uh, female and the name will be sarah it is allowing it to update the values so let's go back to const and instead of changing the entire value of a person only changes property for that we need to write person dot name equal to sara and person dot gender equal to female let's clear this and let's run so here you can see it is allowing to update the property so with const we are never allowed to change the value of an object but we can change its property and that is all for let and const in the next video we will discuss about arrow function
आई होप यू लाइक माई वीडियो एंड इफ यू लाइक इट प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड कमेंट एंड प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड आई विल सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल देन टेक केयर एंड बाय In this video we will discuss about ESX arrow function let us declare an array const integers which is equal to an array of integers 1 2 3 now i want to modify all its value such that every element is going to have a value that 1 plus higher than the current integer value so instead of 1 2 3 make it 2 3 4 the way of doing it is through a map functionality it will go through each single element of this array and update it accordingly to what we want our return value to be so declare a new const update integers which is equal to integers dot map which takes in a function containing each number in the array now we are going to modify in this block of code it is going to loop through every single number in the array such that we can access it through this variable which will return updated number with one added to it for that we need to write return number plus equal to 1 so it takes this number current value add 1 adds 1 to it and this updated number will become our updated value of our array this array should now have the value of 2 3 and 4 as we loop through every element of this array and incremented it by 1 returning the updated value let's console this console dot log update integers Let's run the code. And we are getting 2 3 and 4. So now instead of this function, let's use ESX arrow function. So copy this code and paste it and let me comment it out by pressing control and slash so it will you can have a reference of this code. to declare the arrow function just remove this function key and add an arrow right after your argument this arrow is also known as fat arrow let's run the code let's clear this and run the code and you can see that everything is working fine we can make this into one line of code so inside of your function inside of your function inside of this block you are returning a value so we don't actually need this scope this two curly braces you can return your updated value direct directly through your fat arrow so remove the return statement return and remove this two curly braces as well and make everything in one line this is known as implicit return and explicit return is when you explicitly specify that you are returning something and since we are having only one parameter that's been passed that that is been passed into our map functionality you can remove this parentheses and everything will be work fine let's clear this and let's run the code and you can see the output is same what if we want to change all of this element to a random string so map will loop through all of this element and for each element update its value to john 
in this case we don't actually need this number parameter so we are not really making use of it so just remove this number and instead of this number plus equals to 1 and instead of this number plus equals to 1 we need to write a string of John in arrow function if you don't intend to specify any argument you must have two parentheses so we need to give two parentheses and that's it uh, just clear this uh, code and let's run the code and you can see it, it is printing John John and John so that's it about arrow function if you like my video please like share and comment and please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video till then take care and bye bye in this video we are talking about template string template string are replacement for ES5 string concatenation for that we need to declare a const name which is equal to John and const age which is equal to 30 and we need to declare one more variable const sentence which is equal to my name is blank and in that blank we need to add this variable name and I am blank years old so in this blank we need to add this variable age so before year 6 introduced template string in order to play string we need to stop the string add a plus sign and place a variable called name this variable we need to add here and again add a plus sign again start the string and same goes for age we need to stop the string add a plus sign add a variable name age again we need to add a plus and we need to start a string sorry so let's run the code sorry we need to console it forward to console sentences sentence and let's run the code and you can see that it is printing my name is John and I am 30 years old and clear it again and I am 30 years old so so we concatenated some variable onto a string so this is a tedious process so javascript introduced template string so let me comment out this code by pressing ctrl and slash and we need to uh, declare const sentence which is equal to for template string we need to use backtick key which is above the tab key so let's press the backtick key and here we need to write my name is and we need to put a dollar sign and we need to add two curly braces inside this curly braces we need to write the variable the name of the variable which is name and i am and i am again a dollar sign with two curly braces age years old so let's run the code and you can see that it, it is printing the same thing which was printing before my name is john and i am 30 years old So inside the template string you can actually modify the output of age so for example if i put here age into 2 let's clear this and let's run the code so you can see that my name is john and i am 60 years old so this is all about template string and in the next video we will take a look on spread operators if you like my video please like share and comment and please do subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video till then take care and bye bye
Welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to talk about prototypes. For that, we need to make a variable const person, which is equal to an object. And in that object, we are having properties of name, John, and age, 50. Let us control this. And let's run the code. So it will print out the object with the property of name John and age 50. So now let's comment all this. And our goal is to create the same object using a function constructor. So to start with, we need to create a constructor function, function with name person with, an, uh, with two arguments, name and age and inside this function we are going to write this dot name equals to name and this dot age equal to age so we are going to use this constructor function to create a new object of person the new object that we are creating with this constructor is having a property name which is equal to whatever name that was just passed in and the same thing goes with the age so now how do we actually create this object with the constructor so write const john equal to new person which is having a name john and age 50 so we created a new object just like this one which has a name John and age 50 whenever you are creating an object using a function constructor you must declare the new operator now if I console log this new object let me console this new object John and let's clear this and let's run this so it is giving me the object with the property of name John and age 50. So we successfully created a new object using constructor. What if I want to have my object some methods? What do I mean by this? Let's quickly see an example. I create an array let numbers equal to an array of numbers 1, 2, 3, as soon as we declare this array, we get access to all sort of methods like filter, numbers dot filter, numbers dot map. So this numbers variable was created from the global constructor array, which contains all sort of prototype method like filter and map. All of these methods are now received by this variable numbers we want to do the same with our person constructor we are going to give a prototype method as soon as we declare new object from this constructor so it will receive those method so write person dot prototype dot welcome which is equal to a function with no argument and inside this we are going to console log a template string for that we need to write in a backtick key hi my name is and write a dollar sign and open the curly braces this dot name so your welcome is the method now write just remove this console log john and write John dot welcome and let's clear this and let's run this code so it printed out hi my name is John this is all about prototypes and in the next video we will talk about ESX classes so if you like my video please like share and comment and please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video till then take care and bye bye 
to declare a class write class with name person and every class has a block with two braces two curly braces it is the body of your class and inside the body we have to declare our constructor we have a constructor in the last video to create object we can declare it inside the body by writing constructor which takes name and age so how do we create an object from this constructor it is the exact same code that we did in the function constructor this dot name and this dot age let me copy this and let me paste it and let's remove this comment this constructor function will use to create new object of person but how do we actually declare an object from this constructor it is exact same thing as before const john which is equal to new person which which is having a name john and age 50 and let's console log john and let's run the code sorry i forgot this let's clear this and let's run the code and everything works fine so we just created an object john from ess class constructor remember earlier we gave our function constructor a prototype method of welcome and our and our object was able to receive it we are going to do the same thing with es6 class to give our class constructor a prototype of welcome simply write welcome with brackets with round brackets and two curly braces so it is more easier than before inside our method just copy this line console log so here so here i am able to write john dot welcome and let's remove this console dot log and let's clear this and let's run this so it is working fine and so we are successfully able to create an object with ES6 class constructor. If you like my video, please like, share and comment and please do subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye bye. Welcome to another video. In this video, we will talk about spread operators. We will look how we can expand arrays and object with the spread operators. For this, we need to declare two arrays. So let's do it const names which is equal to an array of names which is which have john sam and bill and we have one more const more names which is equal to an array of names mike paul and ronnie So how do we use spread operator on these two values? What the spread operator will do? It will take every single element from our array and it expands an array into its element. These elements will appear individually. Let's console.log name. So let's console it. And what it does, it will print out the normal arrays. So let's run the code and you can see it it printed out the normal array what if i add spread operator before this let's clear this and let's run this it printed out these elements individually brackets are gone and it has spread it so how it is useful what if i want to combine them and in between i need to write a, a name of johnny let me show you a result of this array
let me copy this paste it and in between I need Johnny let me copy this as well so I want something like this I want the result should be like this and everything should be in a single array John Sam Bill Johnny Mike Paul Ronnie okay so let me clear this and so how would we do it with ES5 so we will write let name all names which is equal to a blank array an empty array let's contact the array by writing all names equal to all names dot concat names semicolon and here the result will be John Sam and Bill and in between we need Johnny so so I'll, I'll write all names dot push Johnny and now the result will be Johnny and again I have to write all names which is equal to all names dot concat and more names so finally we will get the result of all the names okay so finally we will get the result of all the names so let's console this dot log all names let's run the code and you can see it printed out all the names with John, Sam, Bill, Johnny in between and Mike, Paul, Ronnie. So this we have done with ES5 and let's do it with ES6 spread operator. So spread operator allows us to do all of this in a single line of code. So let's delete this and let's comment this, comment this out with control and slash and here we need to give const all names equal to an array and inside that array we need to put this array of names and before this we need to write we need to give spread operator and after the names we need to write we need to add Johnny and then we need to write more names and before more names we need to add the spread operator and let's console this all names let's clear this and let's run this Sorry, I forgot to comment this out. Clear. And you will get the same result which we were getting earlier. So how simple it is with uh, by using spread operator, we can simply write all this in one line of code. So this is it all about spread operator. See you in the next video. So friends, this was the last lecture for ES6 crash course. I hope you like the videos. And if you like it, please like, share and comment and please do subscribe to my channel and see you next time. Till then, take care and bye-bye.